Dwarf planets are celestial bodies that orbit around the star, have enough mass to have an almost ideal spherical shape, move under the action of gravitational forces, and cannot clear their orbit area from other objects. In this video, we will look at the biggest and most famous dwarf planets in our time. Before continuing, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to Infinity Chronicles. Thank you, and enjoy the show. International Astronomical Union officially recognized five dwarf planets. These are Ceres, Pluto, Eris, Makemake, Haumea. They are often attributed to four other dwarf planets, such as Gonggong, Kwawo, Orcus, and Sedna. At least another 40 of the known solar system objects may belong to this category. According to various estimates, up to 260 dwarf planets can be found in the Keeper Belt and up to 10,000 dwarf planets outside it. Until 2006, Pluto was considered an ordinary planet, but according to the 26th International Astronomical Union Assembly, it has moved to the category of celestial bodies, which are called planets dwarfs. In August of 2011, Michael Brown, the discoverer of many trans-Neptunian objects, proposed a list of 390 candidates for dwarf planets. The very first dwarf planet discovered in our solar system was Ceres. It was discovered in 1801 and was initially considered an asteroid, but in 2006, Ceres was reclassified as a dwarf planet. Pluto, discovered in 1930, was probably still considered the ninth planet in the solar system. In March 2020, over 100 new trans-Neptunian objects were discovered during a large-scale mapping of the southern sky. Of this list, only Pluto was demoted, becoming a dwarf planet and losing planetary status, and the rest, on the contrary, elevated, ceasing to be just one of the asteroids. However, after the discovery of Eris in 2005, which was larger than Pluto, it had to be reclassified, as the discovery of Eris sparked a debate about what constitutes a planet. Haumea and Makemake were discovered in 2004 and 2005, respectively, and both were classified as dwarf planets in 2008. All these discoveries led to the definition of what is a planet, and introduced a new category, dwarf planet. Noticeable that Eris was considered larger than Pluto when it was discovered. However, later, according to the mission New Horizons, NASA was found to be Pluto, a little larger than Eris. Pluto is the largest known dwarf planet in the solar system. It was discovered on February 18, 1930, by astronomer Clyde Tombaugh. Pluto consists mainly of stone and ice, and it is relatively small. Its mass is about six times less than the mass of the Earth's moon. Volume is about three times less. The area of Pluto is 17.7 million square kilometers. The main characteristics of Pluto. The average radius is 1,188.3 kilometers. The mass is 1.3 times 10 to the power of 22 kilograms. The average density is 1.86 grams per cubic centimeter, and the free fall acceleration on the equator is 0.617 meters per second squared. The rotation period is almost 6.5 Earth days. The surface temperature is between 40 and 60 kelvins. Pluto and its largest moon, Charon, discovered in 1978, are often considered a double planet as the centroid of their systems is located outside both objects. Pluto also has four smaller satellites, Necto and Hydra, discovered in 2005, Kerber, discovered in 2011, and the Styx, discovered in 2012. In 2015, Pluto was investigated at close range by the American spacecraft New Horizons, launched when Pluto was still considered a normal planet, Eris is the second largest dwarf planet in the solar system, after Pluto. The most massive and farthest dwarf planet in the solar system. It was discovered 
on 5 January 2005 by American astronomers, including Michael Braun, David Rabinowitz, and Chad Trujillo. The main characteristics of Eris. The average radius is 1,163 kilometers. The surface area is 1.7 times 10 to the power of 7 square kilometers. The mass is 1.67 times 10 to the power of 22 kilograms. The average density is 2.52 grams per cubic centimeter. The free fall acceleration on the Eris's equator is 0.82 meters per second squared. The rotation period of the dwarf planet is 25.9 hours. The surface temperature is minus 253 degrees Celsius. Eris has one known satellite called Dysnomia. The Hubble Space Telescope photographed Eris and Dysnomia. For a long time, Eris was considered much larger than Pluto. In 2010, their size was considered so close that it was impossible to say which of these objects was larger. However, according to New Horizons in July 2015, Pluto is slightly larger than Eris and is the largest trans-Neptunian object known today. Eris has not yet been examined at close range by the spacecraft, and much of the information about it is based on observations from Earth. Haumea, dwarf planet of the solar system, classified as a trans-Neptunian object. It is the fastest rotating body with a diameter of more than 100 kilometers. It has two satellites and a ring system. Haumea was discovered independently by two groups of astronomers, American and Spanish. The American group, which included Michael Braun, David Rabinowitz, and Chad Trujillo, discovered Haumea on December 28, 2004, in an image taken on May 6, 2004. The Spanish band, Jos Luis Ortiz, and his team, discovered Haumea on July 25, 2005, in a photo taken on March 7. The Spanish group officially announced the discovery on 29 July, 2005. The main characteristics of Haumea. The average radius is 816 kilometers. The surface area is 2 times 10 to the power of 7 square kilometers. Mass 4 multiplied by 10 to the power of 22. The average density is 2.6 grams per cubic centimeter. Free fall acceleration on the equator is 0.44 meters per second squared. Rotation period 3.9 hours. The surface temperature is identical to Eris's surface temperature, minus 223 degrees Celsius. Haumea, like Eris, has not yet been examined at close range by the spacecraft, and most of the information is based on observations from the ground. Makemake is another dwarf planet in the solar system. It is the largest of the known classical objects of the Keeper Belt. Makemake was discovered on March 31, 2005, by American astronomers who discovered the previously mentioned dwarf planets. Basic characteristics make make. The average radius is 739 km. The surface area is approximately 6,300,000 square kilometers. The volume is equal to 1.5 multiplied by 10 to the power of 9 cubic kilometers. The mass of Makemake is 3 times 10 to the power of 21. The average density is 1.7 grams per cubic centimeter. The free fall acceleration on the equator is approximately 0.4 meters per second squared. The rotation period is 7.7 .7 hours. The average surface temperature is minus 240 degrees Celsius. Makemake has one known satellite. S2015. As in previous cases, all data are based on observations from Earth. No spacecraft has explored this miniature planet. Ceres is a unique dwarf planet that differs from others in its features. It is located in the asteroid belt and is its largest object. Ceres was discovered in 1801 by the Italian astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi at the Palermo Astronomical Observatory. This was such an important discovery 
that Ceres was initially classified as a full-fledged solar system planet, but it was reclassified as an asteroid in 18 or 2. But the story of Ceres did not end there. In 2006, after clarifying the concept of a planet by the International Astronomical Union, Ceres was reclassified again and is now considered a dwarf planet. Ceres has a diameter of about 950 kilometers and contains a third, or more precisely 32%, of the asteroid belt's total mass. It has a spherical shape that distinguishes it from most of the smaller bodies of the solar system. The density of Ceres indicates that it is 20-30% water ice. Ceres was investigated by a spacecraft in 2015. The study provided scientists with more detailed information on its surface and composition. Ceres' surface is a mixture of water, ice and hydrated minerals such as carbonates and clay. In 2014, Herschel Space Observatory discovered water vapor around Ceres. The surface area of Ceres is 2,849,631 square kilometers. The mass is 9.3 times 10 to the power of 20 kilograms. The average density is 2.161 grams per cubic centimeter. The free fall acceleration of gravity on the equator is 0.27 meters per second squared. The rotation period is 9 hours and 4 minutes. The surface temperature is approximately minus 106 degrees Celsius. Ceres is the warmest dwarf planet. Dwarf planets, especially those in the Keeper Belt, play an essential role in our understanding of the formation and evolution of the solar system. They are the building blocks left over from the formation of the solar system and contain a wealth of information about its early stages. Dwarf planets such as Pluto, Eris, Makemake, and Haumea are relics of the early solar system. Studying their composition and structure can provide scientists with valuable insights into the processes that occurred in the solar system billions of years ago. The Keeper Belt, where many of these dwarf planets are located, is considered the primary source of periodic comets. These comets, in turn, provide scientists with a unique opportunity to study materials from distant corners of the solar system. Dwarf planets can provide the key to understanding the processes that lead to the formation of planets. For example, some scientists believe that dwarf planets may be underdeveloped planets that cannot collect enough material to become fully-fledged planets. Dwarf planets and their gravitational interactions with other bodies can significantly influence the structure and dynamics of the solar system. For example, they can affect the orbits of comets and other trans-Neptunian objects. Finally, these objects could play a key role in the search for extraterrestrial life. Some, such as Pluto, have complex atmospheres and possibly even subsurface oceans, which may be potential habitats. In recent years, research on dwarf planets has continued and brought discoveries. For example, the NASA New Horizons mission explored the most distant object in history. The Keeper Belt space object, called 2014 MU69, is also known as Ultima Thule. This object, located 4 billion miles from the ground, turned out to be much more complicated than expected. Ultima Thule is a contact binary composed of two planetesimals. It is about 36 kilometers long and has a large flat fraction connected to a smaller, more rounded fraction. Ultima Thule is thought to have formed from two separate progenitor objects that developed over time from a rotating cloud of small icy bodies since the formation of the solar system 4.6 billion years ago. It is unclear how Ultima Thule has attained its present flattened shape. However, two leading hypotheses have been postulated to explain the mechanisms leading to its flattened shape during the formation of the solar system. The New Horizons team hypothesizes that the two progenitor objects formed with initially rapid rotations, causing their shapes to become flattened due to centrifugal forces. Over time, 
the rotation rates of the progenitor objects gradually slowed down as they experienced impacts by small objects and transferred their angular momentum to other orbiting debris left over from their formation. Eventually, loss of momentum caused by impacts and momentum shifting to other bodies in the cloud caused the pair to slowly spiral closer until they touched where, over time, the joints fused together, forming its present bilobate shape. Topography variations at the limb of Ultima Thule suggest that its interior is likely composed of mechanically robust material consisting of mostly amorphous water ice and rocky material. Trace amounts of methane and other volatile gases in the form of vapors may also be present in Ultima Thule's interior, trapped in water ice. The first interstellar object in our solar system was discovered in 2017, named Oumuamua. This unique object has attracted the attention of scientists worldwide, and its research has led to many discoveries. Oumuamua has an unusual shape. It is elongated and has a reddish color. This has caused much debate about its origin and nature. Some scientists have suggested that Oumuamua may be an artificial object, but most agree it is a natural interstellar object. One of the most exciting discoveries related to Oumuamua is its unusual movement. It moves faster than you would expect from an object moving only under the influence of gravity. This has led to speculation that it may not be experiencing gravitational acceleration, perhaps due to the evaporation of gases from its surface. Oumuamua has left our solar system and continues its journey through interstellar space. Still, its visit has left scientists with new questions about the nature of interstellar objects and how they can affect our understanding of the solar system and the universe. Research on dwarf planets continues. For example, in 2019, it was discovered that the planet Haumea had its own ring. It was the first discovery of a ring around a dwarf planet and another reminder that dwarf planets can be as complex and exciting as large planets. In general, exploring dwarf planets and interstellar objects, such as Oumuamua, continues to expand our knowledge of the solar system and the universe. The dwarf planets of the solar system are unique worlds, each with its own peculiarities and mysteries. They play an essential role in our understanding of the formation and evolution of the solar system and the study of astrophysics and planetary science. Pluto, Eris, Makemake, Hormia, and Ceres. Each of these dwarf planets has its own discovery history, features, and characteristics. They represent a variety of worlds that we are just beginning to explore. Dwarf planets are not considered full-fledged planets because of their inability to clear their orbit of other objects, but this does not make them less interesting to study. Their unique characteristics and conditions make them one of the solar system's most exciting objects to explore. We can expect even more discovery and exploration of dwarf planets with the development of technology and the expansion of space missions to explore these unique worlds. We can learn even more about how they formed, their conditions, and how they can help us better understand our solar system and the universe. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button and subscribe to Infinity Chronicles. Thank you for your time and attention. See you again.